Good day, everybody. I'm Shmi, and I make guides for Path of Exile's Ruthless Mode. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Today, I'm back to show you my newest character, Make It Rain, and how he demolished the campaign in... nine hours? Honestly, I thought it'd be less. Still pretty good time, though. Early on, he was mostly carried by gear. I had a quill rain here for Acts 1 and 2, which made the damage so good it didn't really matter. You invest entirely into pathing and defense early in the build so that you can push to get iron reflexes. The benefit is that you're incredibly tanky throughout the entire campaign, but your damage really starts chugging around Act 3 and doesn't start looking up until around Act 5 or so. Both Dominus and Malachi were fairly annoying, but I'm still definitely outpacing any of the other Ruthless builds that I've done. The worst, though, was Innocence. He's always annoying for this build because you just need him to sit still. But this fight, for me, he was just constantly moving and repositioning, so it took forever. But in the end, he still went down. The first Kitava fight's where the damage starts picking up. You can see here that I stutter Katava's animation, and that's when you know that your damage is good. The Brian King fight is great because you can see both how tanky I am, and now you can see my damage act actually starting to pick up. Arakali in Act 7 was where this build started to actually shine. I melted her down no problem whatsoever. But my favorite is this Deodre Cauldron fight. This is such an annoying boss fight, and I have had so many characters die here. Mercilessly nuking her down felt really good. The Sun and Moon starts to run into the same problem that Innocence had. Their hitboxes are just relatively small, and they love to dance and reposition. So at this point, I'm starting to push damage enough that even in a bad fight, it looks just fine. The Depraved Trinity fight was hilarious. So early on in this build, I shot myself in the foot. I initially started with Ballista Totem and Rain of Arrows, but around level 12, I swapped over to Shrapnel Ballista and Arrow Nova when I realized that it was going to be more damage. But because of that, my totem has been underleveled and I struggle to keep them alive. Now I actually get to the point where I can keep them up, and in this fight, I burn through all the phases so quickly, it catches me off guard when he goes and summons his little scorpion things. But still, Act 9, easily crushed. And the coup de grace has to be this final Katava fight. You remember what I said earlier about animation locking Katava and that being a sign that your damage is good? Watch how hard I animation lock him here between phases. You can see here, it's a little bit of a lock in the first phase. Here, after the second phase, he gets hard locked. And the third is the most hilarious. Katava gets off this entire flame breath when he's already dead. And then he gets animation locked. And I gotta be honest, friends. I've already started mapping with this character, and he only keeps getting stronger. In the next video, you will get to see him not just immediately tear into maps, but I think Ruthless knows what I'm doing and it's given me what I want because you'll also see two huge item drops that are going to vault this character deep into the endgame. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, Exiles.